Hey everybody, welcome back to D-Zoned. Let's go ahead and see what we got here. Hop 112. It also kind of looks like a Doom 2 conversion. We've been seeing a lot of these lately. This is from D-Zone Gold. I'm assuming the original name was Hop 11, probably Hop E1M1. And then the two just, well, more than likely means that it was converted automatically. So we're gonna see some interesting stuff, I'm sure. <laughs> some interesting art files. So anyway, for music, we've got Astral Dreadnought by James Paddock. And for the intermission, we've got Brutal Schism. Schism? By James Paddock. Let's go! Alright, 78 enemies, 14 items, 5 secrets. Alright, we're starting off with some shotguns. Oh, and you. <laughs> the one who got wrecked. And because it's a conversion enemy, we're not going to use this, the chain gun, or this for that matter. Because most place shotguns get changed into super shotguns, which uh, totally doesn't throw off the map balance. That's okay. Alright. Well, I hear the arch file. We're definitely going to be using the converted weapons against converted enemies, right? Thankfully, you're in a place where you really can't do any damage, so... I mean, to, um, my pride or anything else. There we go. Huh, figured that would have been a secret. Nice texture work, though. I also like that this map isn't full bright. So a lot of early map editors defaulted the brightness to, um, maximum, which... Made for some beautiful eye searing visuals. Of course, then again, considering like CR, well, you know, CRTs so much, like the gamma curve on monitors was a lot weirder. Not to mention the fact that early versions of Doom did not have uh, proper gamma control settings, it only had like off and on. So, oh, hello. Oh my, a secret that actually kind of. that's discoverable. I'm shocked. Oop. <laughs> that was almost bad. Barely got out of uh, the radius, I guess. So I think that's like one of those cases where it replaces uh, the chain gunner. Or it replaces... Alright, what went down? Okay. But I think what it did was it replaced an imp with a chain gunner, which can throw off the map balance. Because when you think about it... Imps can't infight with imps. That's a, actually a pretty cool secret, I gotta say. Marked with light, all that good stuff. But yeah, imps can't hurt imps. However, chain gunners can hurt imps. So you could end up with unintentional infighting. Yeah. I really wish that, uh... Oh. That is a crusher. Guess that's more meant to... It's really small. I think it's more meant to just punish fleeing players. What? Hold on, let's rewind that. Because I'm really confused as to what actually happened there. Ooh, it's really easy to end up missing this little area because of that. I wonder if it's an area where you can actually soft lock, or if it's more of just like a bonus area. Well, either way, we got a, a place shotgun, so... Yeah, you can actually use that. This actually reminds me, I really need to... Okay, at least it's just a bonus area, but it's still, if you end up just wandering out, yeah, you're kind of screwed. But yeah, I need to put together some sort of, like, D-zoned FAQ, because I've been getting actually quite a few questions about the converter. Mostly because it's probably not something that people really would have thought much about, because, I mean, these days... You know, you just, you have Doom 2, and you have Doom, and it's not a big deal, <laughs> but... Yeah, back then there was actually the good chance where some people wouldn't have one or the other, and uh, they would need something to make the map work. Now, I agree with the overall principle of the converter, because, I mean, I think it's kind of cool that it would allow people who only bought Doom 2 to actually be able to play custom levels designed for Doom 1. I don't think the converter should have messed around with enemy placement and map balance, which... I mean, I think it's okay, because, like, the converter did support, like, response files, which will allow you to conf uh, configure how the conversion worked. 
The problem I have is that the defaults should not mess with the map. It should do what's necessary to get it running. That is, replace the textures that were you know that were not contained in Doom Two. But that's where it should have ended. But I don't know. Anyway, TLDR. I think I need a more cohesive list of everything that's going on. Maybe some examples. I don't know. We'll see. I have apparently... Because I actually checked my old Doom directory a while back, and I apparently I've had a copy of DM Convert since... Freaking hell. I, I, I still have a copy on my PC right now that I downloaded in the 90s, probably from AOL, so... Yeah. <laughs> People call me a data pack rat. Alright, so anyway. Yeah, whatever. We'll give it a little more respect this time, I guess. Alright, well that was that was a cool little area. This is a cool map. I, I actually really like this one. It's nothing too crazy, obviously. But it definitely uh it definitely does a lot right. We'll put it that way. Very good use of lighting here, too. Alright. Which I should probably mention that. Because you know, a lot of times I'll say that, like, texture alignment and stuff like that are. Especially when it comes to, like, more advanced texture alignment, like trying to get multiple differently named textures to blend together properly. That stuff was not necessarily straightforward on old school map editors, but it wasn't impossible. I mean, just to give you an idea... Oh. Oh, thank goodness. It wasn't one of those, like, exit doors where it's just sort of... Oh, that was actually a tricky Baron placement. Oh, God. I was gonna run in there and just circle strafe him, but... Oh, well. Wall with hit points. It's good use of a Baron. But, uh, yeah. It's not to say that it was impossible, it just wasn't as easy as it was with Doom Builder. I mean, I remember obsessing over texture alignment and stuff like that way back when. And uh, when you, if you really want to get kind of a general idea of what's possible, Alien Vendetta was made with classic map editors. Eh, seems like a bit overkill to me. <laughs> Light amp goggles. Anything else over here? Because it doesn't look like I've... Nope, guess not. So, yeah, I mean, it's not that they were utterly incapable of doing anything, but uh, you just didn't have that convenient visual mode. That's all. Boink. All right, well, that was, uh, that was great, actually. <laughs> the map didn't really have, like, a cohesive theme to it, but you know what? They don't really need to at the same time. It was uh, punchy. It wasn't, like... I mean, it was fairly easy by modern standards, but I, I think for, uh, you know, back in the day, that would have been kind of an, a nice, like, average difficulty romp. Romp. There we go. <laughs> Look, I'm pushing 40. My voice shouldn't be cracking. Nah, but, um, anyway. Slightly sore throat. That's probably why. But anyway, I digress. But, um... Yeah, I mean, it was just, it was good. Good, well detailed. There was some texture misalignments here and there, but you know what? It was, it was really easy to overlook. Um, kind of cool looking environments. They were trying, you could tell they were trying out like different map shapes and stuff like that. The secrets weren't super crazy to find, but they were fun. Um, good enemy placement in general. It's kind of hard to say because, you know, this is a conversion and the enemies aren't necessarily the same as they were originally. But, uh, I mean, I really don't... Like, I can get a general idea of what they were going for. Like, that one room with, like, four imps and a chain gunner. Yeah, that was supposed to be all imps. Just as an example. Yeah, overall, I mean, it was just it was just a solid map. I think I would have preferred to play the original, the unmessed with version, but I think I'm still going to give it a 10 out of 10. So, this one has the Spectre Seal of Approval. So, GG... And uh, I guess let's move on to one more, because that was a pretty pretty quick affair. Nice little seven-minute romp, but uh, let's go ahead and see what we got next. So, D-Field 2... Man, we're getting a lot of 
what appear to be conversions. So this one's from D-Zone Gold, which, uh, well, same as the other one. See if it matches up to the other one, shall we? So we have, um, for music, Garden of Lost Souls by Stuart Wren. And for the intermission, we've got Strange Machinery by Big Old Billy. Let's go ahead and see what we got. Well, I can already tell you it's not as impressive visually as the previous one. This actually looks like it's probably a deathmatch map with monsters in it based on just what I'm seeing here. Also, I'm pretty sure I heard a cyber demon. Hmm. A what? Oh no. This is this is like FCM1. <laughs> okay, maybe it's not quite that bad. But um Alright. Um sure I'll take this. No, get out of my way. Got my eyes on a vial. Yeah, I'll take that, why not? Oh, hollow mirrors. Yeah, this is um this is cursed. This is very cursed. You even... How? Like, what? Did they just... Oh, what even is this? Look at this... Look at this line work. What was going on here? Everything's crossing into everything else. What? Uh, this is... This is... This is what happens when you don't know how to use a map editor and you release the map you made anyway. Oh, goodness. So, um, okay, good. <gasps> Honestly, did not expect him to be free. Like, I saw him stuck behind those trees and I thought that was going to be that. Right, so... I mean, it, it's funny, though, when you really look at it. Okay, good. I, I, If I could figure out where the walls are... <sighs> holy shit! Anyway, if I can manage to figure out where the walls are and not run into them, I, uh, I could theoretically two-tap this guy. Let's try to make that happen. He's the last kill, after all. Ugh. Nope. We're gonna just do a mulligan there. The map is cursed. Actually, that was poorly timed. It's probably amazing that that one didn't kill me. Anyway. What the fuck? This is just... But anyway, this just goes to show you how... How the Doom engine will just try to kind of make sense of whatever it's fed. I don't even know what this is intended for. Like, my gut feeling says that this was intended to be a deathmatch map that was just... had enemies added to it. Oh, neat. But man, I don't even know sometimes. And there's the wall of switches. Wow. Alright. Let's go ahead and take one more look at the geometry. Like, I don't even know what happened over here. It, it almost looks like... It almost looks like this part, like, this was all meant meant to be one section, then this was just, like, rotated and moved over here. That was just sort of drawn in there, and then I don't know what the hell happened here. This is just... It's just shapes. It's just shapes. There's no rhyme or reason to it. And then you get sections like this, with this... One-sided, impassable wall. <laughs> Man, I... Hmm. So it's not as cursed, excuse me, cursed as FCM1, and um, if you've never seen that before, I'll link the video to it, and the video that covered that one in the description below, let's just say it was just, it was me just being confused, but I'm gonna go ahead and just hit this, and just, man, okay. Just breathe, everything's fine. So I like how we went from a 10 to whatever that was. So what else can I really say about that one? It's 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 a map. It's playable on the Doom engine. It has some very trippy visuals. 
there's a cyber demon. We all like cyber demons, right? And uh, I, I don't know. I, I think it was just... It might have just been... The design might have just been too much for me. I, I'm willing to admit that. But based on my experiences... Now, of course, you're welcome to disagree. You're very welcome to disagree. I will I will read your comments. I will still heart them, even if we disagree. In this case, at least. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and give this one a... Um, one and a half out of ten, because I just don't think that my brain is expanded enough to comprehend what I was seeing. And I do welcome any sort of comments. I would like my mind to be changed on this one. Was this a hidden masterpiece? Was this a gem of dezoned proportions? Please let me know. But anyway, let's go ahead and move on to something that I can hopefully comprehend. Let's go ahead and see what we got. Abagor. We have, actually have a text file for this one. This one looks like it was actually designed for Doom 2. Is that even legal? All right, let's see what we got. Title, Hell 5. Okay. <laughs> Date finished. Uh, I'm going to assume that that's month, day, year. Uh, 4th of September, 1995. <laughs> Author, Andrew Darren. Uh, this is my first wad, so don't expect something special. But I don't think it's... But I think it's not bad for the first wad. Alrighty. But if it's the first wad, then why is it called Hell 5? I'm so confused. <laughs> Maybe it's like a versioning system. I don't know. Anyway, new level wad. Yes. Episode and level. Map 1. Single player and co-op. Yes and yes. Deathmatch. No. Difficulty. Yes. New sounds, graphics, and music. No. 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 Demos replace. No. Base, new level from scratch, build time, five to six hours, editor used, due to, known bugs, I don't know any, but might be, copyright and permissions, do not use this as a base to build additional levels, you may distribute this wad, provide you include this file, with no modifications. Alright, let's go ahead and see how this uh, first attempt went. Abigor.wad, also known as Hell5, uh, for music we've got Crazy Castle Killa, Kill a what by Visceram Nailstrom for intermission. We've got D read M dot mid by an unknown author. I don't actually remember where that's from, but anyway, let's just go ahead and get into it. Yeah, you know, actually, for the, like the first room, aside from it being full bright, kind of a cool look, not gonna lie. Looks to be a little on the smaller side dimensionally. This is not a conversion, so we can go ahead and just go hog wild with the SSG. Good to see that the uh, author of this seems to be an SSG enjoyer. Who wouldn't be, honestly? This thing is like a freaking handheld, like, I don't even know what. It's a big, big boom boom gun. You know? Oh, 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 balls. <laughs> I got trapped in the hallway. Oh, I didn't... I don't know why I didn't realize that I'd already... Or that I hadn't picked that up. Ooh. You know? That's one of those things that I can appreciate, is the fact... That the author managed to constrain... He constrained his, um... Dimensions. Maybe a little too much in the case of these pinkies, but... Yeah, you know. Accidents happen. All that should have been caught in testing. What if it was... Well, I don't know. <laughs> Let us not speculate. Ooh. Actually, it would have been a good secret, although it was not marked as a secret. But, yeah. As far as, like... The overall dimensions of this map goes, like... It kind of seems like... A lot of the maps that I see... Are actually too large. This one manages to be kind of cramped. Doesn't have the best use of textures, like they're all, I mean, they're very much... Hmm. There's a lot of repetition. Sizing of the sectors and all, and the alignment are a bit suspect. But, you know, it works. It's... I think each room kind of does stick with a the theme fairly well. 
I mean, there's maybe a few too many themes going on here, but... In general, the uh, textures used in each room do not clash, which is... kind of a nice start. Because I swear some people, like, they can make the smallest map. They can make one that's the size of E1M1, and they will use every single texture in the IWAD. Which is definitely a vibe. Not gonna, not gonna deny that. If your uh, preferred vibe is Acid Trip. Oops. Yeah, give me that, please. I also like how the... The map is... Well, maybe a little over-generous with weapons. Like, I don't think we really necessarily needed the plasma gun. But... I do appreciate how the... Ammo is maybe a little bit harder to come by. I mean, it's actually... Fairly finely balanced. I'm going to turn off the, uh... Whoops. Turn off the light amp goggles, though. It's like both these teleporters lead up to the same place. Oh, well. So we have the red card. Ooh, wrong on peg setting. Ah, misaligned flat. I mean... <laughs> not the easiest thing to get right. Not necessarily intuitive, but, you know, whatever. What does this teleporter bring you? Oh, okay. I guess that's how you're supposed to get up here. Oh, well. We don't follow the rules in this channel. So, anyway. I do like that little thing of putting the, uh... The computer area map... In a little secret at the end. It's always a nice touch. I think we... I think we basically got this. Now this is a little mean. Because I don't know if I can kill this thing that's in here. Oh, what? Oh, he's in her... Oh, I see how it's supposed to work. I don't think... Oh, okay. Good, good. Okay, there we go. Yeah! I can respect this map. Also, what's over here? Hmm. That's a bit strange. Huh. I wonder why this is here. Might have been an accident. Maybe the author didn't know how to uh, get rid of that. Okay. All right. You know, I can respect that map. I mean, for a first attempt, it had some technical issues. Um, the enemies getting stuck should not have happened, I don't think. I think I'm going to go on a limb and say that that was a little bit of an accident. It might have been just last minute adjustments, because, I mean, all you have to do is just fire up the map in Doom, and you'll see that that's happening. But overall, like, the actual action was pretty decent. There's no real... I mean, the texturing, like I said, it mostly sticks to a theme, although the textures used are a bit repetitive. Like the um, radiation sign, for instance, you know, it didn't need to be pasted all over the walls. It could have just been one on each side or something like that. So it's like you could tell it was an amateur effort, but still, uh, I mean, it, it's, definitely, it's still an above average map. I mean... The action was pretty fun, aside from when the monsters got stuck. The rooms were nice and tight. It wasn't like your usual beginner effort where you end up with these warehouse-sized rooms that are supposed to be, you know, your average closet. It's just... I don't know. It feels like the guy learned uh, a lot of lessons from id. And aside from the first room being a little bit too bright, the rest of the map was actually pretty, you know, reasonably well lit. So yeah, this, this was a good one. I mean, again, stuck monsters aside, that's that's kind of a major polish issue. But, I mean, aside from that, a very good first effort. I'm going to give this one an 8 out of 10. I think without the stuck enemies, it probably would be a... It'd probably be an 8.5 or a 9. But at least they're still killable. You know, that's... That's, I guess, the main thing. Although, you do have to know some mechanics to kill that cyber... Or not cyber demon. <laughs> wow. Sorry, I'm still, like, having flashbacks to the last map. But to kill that one Kako demon. But I guess if you've killed the Icon of Sin, you probably have more or less of an idea of what to do. Just make sure you save a few rockets for the end. But, uh, yeah, I think that's all for now. 
two really good ones and one that, well... <sighs> we'll get back to that one at the end of the year. We'll just leave it at that, shall we? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that, that, that's it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.